Hey, hello, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you about the yoga. So before beginning, if you guys not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and click the like button. And if you guys have any doubt after watching this video, please do mention that in my below comment section, okay? And yes, please do like and follow my Facebook community page, Parishita Astrology also. So let's begin. Now coming to the yoga. Now what does yoga mean? See guys, yoga means a combination, a configuration for better cooperation and for better results. In religion, yoga of a mind and body. In Ayurveda system of medicine, yoga of two or more medicines gives auspicious results. In astrology, yoga means a pattern or configuration of planets which gives special results. So yogas are generally formed by placements of a planet in a particular pattern. Yoga is strong or weak depends upon strength of its constituents. Strong planets make strong yoga, weak planets such as in Shatru house or a bad house or under Pap Katri make weak yoga. The aspects of Papas spoil yoga. The nature of the planets forming yoga is independent of its position and bhava position. All good yogas normally give Sukshanti, Man Saman, Gan, Danya. Yoga results are fully experienced during the periods of planet forming the yoga that means the Mahadasha or the Dasha of the planets forming the particular yoga and the periods of planets posited in the house owned by the yoga karaka. Let's say for example if you are an Aries ascendant then the fifth house Leo or the planet ruled by Leo is Sun will become the yoga karaka and during that planet Mahadasha or Antadasha it will give the result and the periods of planet associated with or aspecting the yoga karakas like let's say 5th house lord and the 10th house lord are aspecting each other or conjectured will give you the results during those periods and the period of nodes if they happen to be in benefic house in association or aspect of yoga giving planets okay like nodes means Rahu and Ketu if Rahu is conjunct with yoga karaka planet or Ketu is conjunct with yoga karaka planet in the Kendra house or Trikon house during those planets Madasha will give you the results or during the periods of lots of Navamsha signs in which the yoga karaka planets are posited. Okay. Now coming to the type of yoga. So see guys, there are different type of Raj Yogas in the Vedic astrology. So I'll explain only the main Raj Yogas. Okay. The first important Raj Yoga is Nichpanga Raj Yoga. So in Nichpanga Raj Yoga, there are so many types occurring. Okay. So first occurring Nichpanga Raj Yoga is from Lagna, any one debilitated planet should be in Kendra. So Kendra house means first house, fourth house, seventh house and tenth house. So let's say for example, if you are Lagna or the ascendant is Pisces, ascendant or Pisces Lagna, from there if planet Venus, let's say for example, if it is uh, posited in the seventh house where it gets debilitated, but even though if it is debilitated in the seventh house, it is getting niche Bhanga Rajyoga. Why? Because since it is posited in Kendra houses, so that's fine. So you can see this example, guys. So this Lagna is Pisces Lagna or the Pisces ascendant, where Venus getting debilitated in the seventh house, and hence Nich Panga Raj Yoga is occurring for this planet. That means that debilitation of this planet is getting cancelled. Okay. Now, second type is that when debilitated Rashi Adipati is at Kendra, that is at 1, 4, 7, 10 from the Lagna. Okay. So Let's say for example, if the Lagna is Mesha Lagna or the Aries Ascendant, okay. And let's say for example, for Aries Ascendant people, if Venus is depleted in the 6th house and that Rasha Dipati or the Lord of that Virgo Rashi is Mercury where Venus is depleted, right? And if it is sitting in the Indra, let's say for example, here in this case, Mercury is sitting in the 7th house. So, Venus deviation will get cancelled and Nich Panga Raj Yoga occurs okay, for this planet. And the result will only you can expect during the Dasha or the Antar Dasha of the planet where the 
niche panga radio is happening so let's say for example if venus is getting debilitated means so during venus madasha you will face a lot of obstacles starting of the venus madasha but gradually you will get very good results of it okay now debilitated and exalted planets hitting together now let's say for example if your ascendant is cancer ascendant or karkataka lagna and if saturn and sun are sitting in the aries zodiac sign that shows that niche bangara yoga is happening okay now coming to the debilitated planet position exalted planet should be in the kendra or in the first house fourth or seventh house or tenth house come lagna now now another type of niche bangara yoga is in a debilitated planet position exalted planet should be in kendra which is 147810 from lagna so let's say for example if your pisces lagna or pisces ascendant and saturn is debilitated in the second house which is in aries zodiac sign where sun gets exalted and that planet sun is been sitting in the kendra from the ascendant that shows that niche bhanga raj yoga is happening for the particular planet which is saturn now coming to the another type of niche bhanga raj yoga where debilitated planet and rashi adipati sits together in this case gemini ascendant or gemini lagna where in the 10th house jupiter and saturn are sitting where jupiter is getting depleted and it is sitting with its rashi adipati which is saturn where jupiter's debility will get cancelled and niche bhanga raj yoga will occur for that planet okay now coming to yoga pala so person gets lot of wealth it assures a very good rise for a person from lower level even karma also matters a lot guys you need to keep it in that mind okay now coming to gaja kesar yoga so jupiter from kendra 147 and 10 house from moon yoga are calculated from moon not lagna okay and if lagna dipati let's say mesha karkataka or vrishika or meena result will be 100% why i will tell that also dhanur kumbha or simha is 75% results prushaba mitana kanya or tula or makara result is less than 50% if about two conditions are applicable then the person possesses this yoga okay yoga pala so most powerful yoga in astrology which is the gaja kesar yoga so the when all their enemies their early life will be so struggling 90% from scratch and they will grow in life in later stage they will say only good words but their curse works more nectar in heart but if they are disturbed and poison in turn if a person goes to a lower level also this yoga will take them up again and the same place more sensitive person no rest to this person during his lifetime all time working if this person gives money or lost money he will be getting approximately 10 times more than it if a male is having this yoga he will be getting a wife who will be more supportive will enjoy glory in life very popular as a speaker leader and rich intelligent wise and extremely glorious in life now coming to aj yoga from lagna jupiter or venus or mercury at 6th or 7th or 8th house all three planets separate all together then aj yoga is formed now yoga pala strong leader gains a lot of wealth and luxury life he or she may set up own business and make profits too they have what it takes to topple position and win against odds strong memory also supports them vasumati yoga from lagna jupiter or venus or mercury at 3 6 10 11 house all three planets separate or together yoga pala the person will have more money and will have comforts from vehicle now coming to panch mahapurush yoga it is forms when mars venus jupiter mercury or saturn position from kendra and its respective rashi okay now ruchaka yoga happens due to mars bhadra yoga due to mercury kamsa yoga due to jupiter malva yoga due to venus shasha yoga due to saturn no two criteria should be fulfilled then only it happens okay now ruchaka yoga mars should be at mesha or ruchaka or makara from lagna mars should be at kendra 14710 so the above two conditions should be other okay so yoga phala wealthy prosperity name and fame due to his own quality example aishwarya rai or narendra modi you can see their horoscope okay now coming to bhadra yoga mercury should be in mithuna or kanya from lagna 
mercury should be at kindra 147 and 10 so the above two conditions should be other now, now yoga phala gift of eloquence and becomes an oratorical speaker this makes the person highly intelligent and having photographic memory the native gets position and authority over others example bill gates or lal bahadur shastri these are just general examples okay the karma matters most now coming to hamsa yoga jupiter should be in dhanur meena or karkataka from lagna jupiter should be at kendra 147 and 10 the above two conditions should be othered yoga phala belongs to the intellectual class of people the native is praised among the galaxy of intellectuals again karma matters the most so malave yoga venus should be in vrishabha or tula or meena from lagna venus should be at kendra 147 and 10 the above two conditions should be other yoga phala famous fortune own many vehicles and live a prosperous luxurious and successful life malave yoga plus strong venus is equal to loving and supporting spouse malave yoga plus malefic planets is equal to bad or unpredictable character example jawahar nehru john f kennedy and mahatma gandhi so karma matters the most shasha yoga saturn should be in tula or makara or kumbha from lagna saturn should be at kendra 147 and 10 the above two conditions should be other yoga phala successful in politics he will be judge and an authority person the native becomes rich prosperous and long live shasha yoga plus strong saturn is equal to deep thinking or deep thinker would positively implement ideas bring them into reality and successful star a new venture Shasha yoga plus malefic planets is equal to the person will be a bad character, maybe even a robber. He will not hesitate in stealing or enjoying others. Example, Jimmy Carter, famous former USA president or Margaret Thatcher, former PM of UK. So yeah, this is it for today guys. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below or else I will see you in the next video. So if you want any consultancy, please do contact to my giveaway below WhatsApp number or else you can even mail me also. So until and unless, thank you, bye bye, love you. Take it.